would you say a little bit about yourself and how you've contributed to this sure. seminar tonight uh, for over 20 years I was a government spy working for the Defense Intelligence Agency the Central Intelligence Agency and the uh, United States military intelligence uh, entities uh, in various capacities uh, throughout the world in varying positions uh, in the primary years I worked in the Southeast Asia uh, environment uh, in, in uh, the mid 70s I, I moved into Yugoslavia Czechoslovakia Romania uh, in the early 80s I went into black uh, into uh, what people know as the black helicopters flying around uh, in military operations in Task Force 160 based out of Fort Campbell Kentucky uh, under the control of the National Security Council uh, from there I went into Honduras and Nicaragua as a special operations CIA pilot flying for Ali North uh, in the National Security Council bringing drugs into, into seeing the drugs were brought into the United States we simply brought the drugs out of the Contra camps into uh, designated areas in Honduras they were then transferred into military and civilian aircraft and brought into the United States dispersed to our children around the United States what I have to say may be highly contested and should be highly contested about uh, those in power because what I have to say about them is, is not a compliment. Did George Bush have knowledge about the drug operation coming out of Central America and South America? Yes. Explain. Well, he was in one of the camps. It yeah, but did he know about it? He was he, standing at a press. George was also, in addition George to Ollie. George was standing right at a cocaine press. And did he have a picture of that? In a place called Roos Roos. I have a picture of something. Okay, we won't go into that. I believe I was paid for 22 years to work for the American people. I believe that you have the right, so as Americans in this country, as taxpayers, to know what happened. What you do with this information is completely up to you. Uh, how you deal with it is completely up to you. Whether you believe it is completely up to you. But I will tell you this, what you do with it will have an effect on you the rest of your life. If you choose to ignore that, ignore what I have to say, in time to come, you'll see that probably you should not have completely ignored what I have to say. Uh, and that's just my own opinion. Uh, but it's an opinion of a, of a intelligence officer who's been out there, who's been battling in the field for the right for you to call me a liar. I think that's, this is a wonderful country when it's a country that you have the right to your own opinion. There aren't many countries out there where you can have the right to your own opinion. And I think that we need to continue uh, to protect our rights to have that opinion. Uh, I can see that everything we were doing from 1986 in the OSGs uh, until I left in 1982, were de were, 1992, were, were designed to uh, align countries into a one world government. There's no doubt in my mind that that's what we were doing. Well, in working for the people I work for, I only see two classes. I see the, the leaders who are the elite, uh, and I say the leaders who are the elite because of the people that we work for. Uh, we work for uh, the Rothschilds, the Roosevelts, uh, the, the superpowers in, in money around the world. Uh, there was never any question of finances on anything that we did. If I needed $250,000 for a mission, I had a line, a signature line of credit. I walked into a bank in New York, I signed a signature, signed my signature, pulled out $250,000 cash, walked away, and that money was replaced the following week. It was that easy for me. So in, in, in answer, I hope that I've answered that in saying, there's two groups. There's the citizens and there's the elite. And that's all there are. Uh, those around the world that think that there's going to be an upper class or that there's going to be comfort like there was, there won't be. Uh, myself, I see even maybe a third class, but that third class won't be considered citizenry on the, on the New World Order. It'll be considered uh, enemies of the New World Order who are uh, possibly living in uh, in state of an underground. I think in summing up what I'd like to say, 
uh, to all of, all of you who listen to this video, uh, and in the media, I'd like to ask one question. Is anybody there?